What if an entire ocean could exist inside glass, calm, boundless, and waiting to be born? I watched the light bend through the empty tank, like sunrise over a silent sea. The first layer of sand poured down slowly, settling into soft dunes across the glass floor. Each grain shimmered as it sank, creating ripples that looked like underwater mountains. I added pebbles and shells, relics of forgotten shores, giving shape to this newborn ocean. Then came the water, drop by drop, turning dust into shimmering blue. The reflection danced on the glass, as if waves were already moving beneath the surface. I adjusted the light to mimic coastal shallows, warm and steady like tropical sun. Tiny ripples formed, circling outward ting. The ocean was starting to breathe. The color deepened to turquoise, clear yet mysterious, hiding what would soon come alive. Coral fragments settled gently, forming reefs that would shelter future life. Bubbles rose from their edges, a quiet whisper of the first breath of creation. The water held still, heavy with silence, waiting for the next step in evolution. I introduced microscopic algae, invisible but vital, the foundation of this world. Within hours, the color shifted, a soft green haze spreading like early morning mist. Oxygen began to bloom, rising in silver trails through the clear water column. I checked the salinity micron, 35 parts per thousand, bitter, perfect balance for marine life. The temperature settled at 25 degrees, steady and calm like summer seas. The micro world pulsed gently, unseen but alive, a rhythm only water could hold. Day one, the ocean was alive and I could already feel its heartbeat. On day two, I noticed a faint shimmer in the water by. Something alive was beginning to form. Under the microscope, thousands of tiny green dots drifted like stars in a liquid sky. These were phytoplankton, the plants of the sea, turning light into oxygen and color. I adjusted the light cycle to 12 hours on, 12 off, a perfect day and night rhythm. Each morning, the water grew a bit richer, deeper in hue, alive with microscopic motion. To balance the food chain, I introduced zooplankton, tiny drifters that feed on the green bloom. They moved slowly at first, like dust catching light, then suddenly burst into motion. Through macro lens, they looked like transparent creatures with pulsing hearts and beating wings. The ocean was changing fast, alone, each hour more alive than the last. By day five, tiny currents swirled through the tank, shaped by temperature and light. I tilted the tank slightly to let waves form naturally, the glass now holding miniature tides. The zooplankton gathered in clusters, feeding on the plankton clouds near the surface. I could see the ecosystem balancing itself. Every movement had purpose, every pause a pattern. Then came the first animal larger than a grain of sand, Orens, the tiny brine shrimp. They floated gracefully, filtering the water, turning the microscopic into motion. Under soft blue light, they glimmered like living particles of dust in a sunbeam. Watching them swim felt like seeing the first fish on a newborn planet. I added a small current pump, barely visible, 
to mimic gentle ocean flow. The water stirred and the brine shrimp danced in the tides they had never known before. For the first time, this tiny ocean had real movement at Fleen, its own breathing rhythm. Day 10 Sinet, the shrimp moved in spirals, like a storm forming in the heart of the ocean. The algae multiplied fast, coloring the light into a deep emerald glow. They gathered in clouds, feeding endlessly, their rhythm matching the pulse of the tank. Each morning, light pierced the water like dawn over an ancient sea. By day 15, the rocks turned green, trite, life coating every surface. Tiny red cherry shrimp grazed across the algae like cattle on a microscopic plane. Slowly, the current began to shape dunes, turning flat plains into rolling underwater hills. Then something unexpected fight. Small, translucent spheres clinging to the glass wall. The shrimp hovered nearby, guarding the eggs as if knowing what was to come. Inside each egg, faint pulses of life shimmered, call the beginning of a new generation. On day 20, the larvae emerged, drifting like tiny specks of living glass. The tank was alive with motion. Ray Kate, hundreds of new lives fluttering in harmony. But abundance brings imbalance, and the water began to grow cloudy with life. The bloom thickened the say, oxygen dropped the say. I knew something had to change. I installed a small filter to clear the bloom, hoping the ecosystem would stabilize again. After two days, the water cleared, revealing the quiet world beneath once more. A lone cherry shrimp moved through the dunes, its shadow stretching over the sand like dusk. Then, a new presence appeared, slow, deliberate, the ocean's first hunter. It moved through the algae like a ghost, a predatory worm searching for prey. The shrimp. The predator moved in silence, hidden among green shadows lean. The balance had shifted. Shrimp darted for cover, instinct guiding them through tunnels of coral and sand. Then it struck. Fast, precise Kamav. A moment of predation in this silent ocean. The aftermath was quiet. A drifting shell. A trace of life already gone. It returned to the shadows, energy conserved. The cycle of hunger momentarily paused. By day 40, oxygen levels fell. The algae darkened. Decay had begun. Tiny plankton drifted down like snow, forming a quiet lair of the dead. The filter struggled, currents quickened, and cunned. The ocean was suffocating itself. For a few days, I could barely see through the haze. It felt like a dying sea. I cleaned the system, replaced water carefully, hoping to restore what was fading. By day 50, clarity returned. Blue shimmered again through the glass ocean. New shrimp appeared, survivors drifting carefully through what remained. The algae began to regrow, slower this time, more stable cove, balance returning. The predator returned, older, slower famined, a reminder that survival always demands loss. Their paths crossed again, no battle this time for just quiet coexistence. 
At night, faint bioluminescence shimmered, the sea glowing like liquid starlight. Moisture gathered on the glass towing. The tank had made its own weather. Then it rained, it, small drops falling from the lid like storms over an endless sea. Life stirred again, movement everywhere, feeding, rising, celebrating the rain. By day 70, new blooms spread like green fire fazzle, rebirth under stormlight. Tiny larvae hatched again, shimmering plong, proof that life always finds a way back. By day 90, the system thrived, every level alive, every breath in balance. The morning light pierced the water like hope reborn, illuminating every living detail. From a handful of sand and water, an entire world had grown before my eyes. One hundred days later, the ocean rests, twerjy, alive, complete, and endlessly small.